Hi, Lauren. How are you? Hey, Mom. Hi, Emma. <laughs> Look who's behind you. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Yay. <laughs> you guys glad to see him? <laughs> <laughs> They're big, huh? They're going to make me cry. <laughs> You guys want to go home? No, <laughs> no we're making you stay here. <laughs> <laughs> go get your. You guys can go get your stuff. So go home. Okay. Crazy shoes. <laughs> <laughs> can we walk you back down? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It was mission accomplished for this soldier. His son had not seen him for an entire year. A flood of emotions, uh, excited, nervous, uh, hoping his reaction was, was good. 100 fifth graders filled the gym at Scottville's Upper Elementary School. They all thought they were coming to an assembly to hear me talk about my job as a reporter, a cover-up for something much more special. The tear ducts working, the chest tightening up just to see that because I knew the excitement for Brandon and what that meant to him was just the world. The idea for this big reveal came over the weekend when Brandon found out his dad would not be coming home on a bus with other soldiers. Brandon was devastated. The devastation quickly turned to joy thanks to teachers, family, and friends. I jumped up and hugged him. Hi, buddy. Uh, are you surprised? And he agreed, yeah, he said, yeah, he was surprised. He was pretty choked up. An emotional moment for this little boy. A relief to see his father, his hero, home safe and sound. In Mason County, Lord Amstead's 7 and 4 News. Story, and I'll be helping you out today. So, uh, what can I get you guys? Start you off with an appetizer. That is good, man. That is good. You didn't have a camera. What was that? Surprise. That's a good one. It's a good crowd. It's a good crowd, baby. She got me shaking. Stop it. <laughs> you get eyeliner on my uniform, I'm gonna be really good. Cool. <laughs> you get that turned into a watch. Love you too. I'm actually bowling in Kansas. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it was. Said I'd be in it. That's good, good. Thank you. Feels weird to see trees. <laughs> I wonder why your grandma was here. <laughs> Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Here comes your elephant. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't turn around. Not yet. One, two, three. Daddy! 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 Oh. Daddy! Oh. <laughs> okay, Michelle, go. Really, can I? Michelle, can't, go. Can't. <laughs> Daddy, Was that a good birthday present, Tay? <laughs> yes. Your wish came true. Mommy, I wish came true. It's snowing. <laughs> After five months overseas, Army Sergeant Jonathan Duncan is finally reunited with his family and holding his seventh child, four-month-old Riker, for the first time. His wife was pregnant when he left and he wasn't able to come home for his son's birth. It's going to take some adjusting for him to figure out who I am. Different, different face feeding him. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty awesome. Just moments before this reunion that brought tears to onlookers, Amanda Duncan had her seven kids lined up at Charlotte Douglas Airport, American flags in hand, ready to greet who they thought was one of their dad's friends returning home. How are you? Good. Been the man of the house? Yes, sir. All right. The emotions of seeing their dad home safe after his second deployment were overwhelming. It's been tough. Um, it's been really tough, but never thought I'd make it home. <laughs> Now the Duncan family has plans to spend some quality time together. Going to the beach. You can see more of that heartwarming reunion on our website. At the end of the school year comes awards, certificates, and medals, but for one Hardin County fifth grader, she only wanted one thing, a memory that will last a lifetime. WLKY's Colin Mayfield shows us her graduation surprise. Grace Reyes, it was a fifth grade graduation that she'll always remember because of a promise made by a father a year ago. That person, please come forward. <laughs> Major Julian Reyes was stationed overseas, but he promised his daughter he would be back no matter what. My command released me early, actually. So I'll be able to uh, come in and make it and don't have to come back to Korea. As certificates of completion were passed out to her peers, Grace was called last. Unaware of her father's presence, there was a bit of confusion for Grace as the surprise played out. I was like, I, I didn't know what they were doing. But then, a sight she hadn't seen in more than 365 days. I'm happy. I missed him and I love him. And the emotion was felt all over the room. Later, Grace told us why it's so emotional having her dad gone thousands of miles away and the challenges it presents. It's hard and it's hard to be without him. And it's, it's hard to go through school. I made it. I, it's probably basically what she wants to do. 
you know, tell her that I made I made the promise that I. Rose, While the family gets as much time with Julian as they can, he tells us he will be deployed back to Afghanistan next November. From Hardin County, I'm Colin Mayfield, WLKY News. And Grace also received awards to recognize her attendance and her good academic standing. Our Rebecca Medina joins us now live from Tampa International Airport, where it all went down earlier today. Good evening, Rebecca. Good evening, Wendy. I have to say that I've covered a lot of these reunions as a journalist, many right here at Tampa International Airport, but this one was really special for me. It's the first time in a long time that I have personally been brought to tears, and this particular reunion, and you'll see why, actually gave me chills. Okay, I don't see her. Carol Howard anxiously waited at the gate to the American Airlines terminal at Tampa International Airport, counting the minutes before she'd see her daughter's face, before she'd hold her again for the first time in 16 months. There she is. Then the doors to the shuttle opened, and out came the young woman Carol calls a scrapper, Private First Class Cassandra Lewis, and Carol couldn't wait any longer. After 16 months of emails and phone calls, this mom really knows her baby is okay. And for the soldier's little brother who's following in her footsteps, this moment is his reassurance he's making the right decision as he deals with being deployed in December. You ready to go home? Then in the midst of the tears, the relief and the joy came the voice of an angel. Look, it's listen to the song they're playing. But where was the voice coming from? Nine-year-old Alia Ocasio, the granddaughter of a Korean War veteran, told me that was the least she could do to say, welcome home, soldier. She's helping our country and all that, and I'm really proud of that, and I like that. But before I joined the Army and before I deployed it, it was a song like, you know, it was our national anthem, but then once you, once you truly fight for it and you, you do lose battle buddies and you do you do go through some rough times in war, then you, you learn to, you, the song means so much more. So much more to this family of soldiers whose sacrifice can truly never be repaid. And Private First Class Lewis is not done just yet. She'll be redeployed in January. This time she'll be headed to Afghanistan. Her baby brother will be headed to Iraq in December. Their mom tells me that the next year or so is going to be filled with a lot of worry and a lot of fear, but she said mostly with a lot of pride. We're live at Tampa International Airport tonight. Rebecca Medina, ABC. I want Mr. Mr. Moose. One by one, they come to Santa, each child with a very special request. Twin babies. But seven-year-old Reagan Walter's wish is unlike the others. Well, I want for Christmas with my dad. That's pretty much the only thing. A tough order even for Santa. Well, you know, Santa do the very, very best he can on these things. But with a little Christmas magic, mm. oh, yeah. wow. Reagan's wish comes true. Santa brings her father, U.S. Army Sergeant Bobby Walters, home to her from Iraq. From the look on Reagan's face, she had no idea Santa would even be able to help her. I didn't know. I was just hoping he would be able to. Hi, sweetie. And if Santa did, she wanted to make sure he could find her dad. I told him uh, that I wanted my dad for Christmas and showed him a picture of my dad, so he brought home the right dad. We have a good relationship with Santa, but I didn't know if this one was going to happen. But Santa came through. Extra homemade milk and cookies. We're going to oh, have to make yeah. some. And a seven-year-old little girl has her Christmas wish. Uh, Tell Santa thank you for everything. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Mary Jedlica, ABC6, on your side.